So here's the sequence they give you. 5, 11, 29, dot, dot, dot. Three terms, that's enough. They're even generous enough to give you a definition for the general term, the nth term. So they tell you this. Which on closer inspection is actually fairly obvious. Okay? So then they ask you a pair of questions. Part one, fourth term. Okay? That's pretty pedestrian. They define for you the nth term, so you just have to put excuse me, you just have to put n equals four in there. So let, let's just quickly do that. So term four is equal to uh, three to the power of four, which is eighty-one, plus two, which is eighty-three. No problem. Okay? Then when you get to part two. They just throw you right in the deep end. What they want is this expression. Okay? Now, the reason why you might, and this is the kind of question which you want to go after, okay? you might raise an eyebrow at this, is because this sequence, well, is it an AP? No. It sure is not because the gap from here to here is plus 6, and then the gap to the next one is 18. plus 18, right? Not an AP. Is it a GP? No. No, it's not because term two on term uh, one. one is that, and term three on term two is that, and <laughs> all three numbers are prime. So I'll tell you what, I don't even need to try simplifying, just go home, okay? So this is the same question. Not a GP, okay? Not an AP, not a GP, and that's what makes you scratch your head, okay? However, however, doesn't mean I can't work with it, and there are enormous clues in the question, right? So they told you this, okay? And therefore I know that this sequence is very, very close to a sequence that if I take every term and subtract 2, well I'm going to get 3, and then 9, and then 27. Okay, now how did I know to subtract 2? And the answer is because the term said plus 2, right? Now if I subtract 2, I get to this thing, and what's that? That's a GP. Like that's that's like a textbook GP. Okay. So here's a GP, right? And the difference between this and this is another GP. That's a GP, isn't it? Right. Two, two, two. Also happens to be an AP. They're both pretty boring, anyway. But that doesn't matter. Now that I know that that series is made up of these series. It's pretty easy from there, isn't it? Watch. If I want to get the sum to the nth term of this, this is just a GP, right? So all I need is the first term, which is? Three. Three. Um, should I choose r to the n minus one, or one minus r to the n? r to the n minus one. r to the n minus one, okay? Um, r is also three. three to the n minus one, divided by what? Three minus Three take away one. Now, pause. I will evaluate that in a second, but all that's going to cover is this. That's just going to cover this, okay? I also need to include this. This gets added all the time as well, okay? Now, it's a GP. I could reach for my GP formula. It's an AP. I could reach for my AP formula. But you don't really need to do that, do you? Plus two. The, uh, the sum of the first n terms, where all of the terms are two, is just going to be 2n, right? Like if I have 10 terms, then the sum is 20. Okay. That's, it. That's it. I mean, I'm going to simplify. Uh, let's see. So this is 3 on 2 plus 2 to the n. There you go. Okay. Now, what was strange about it? What was strange is that it didn't immediately fit into our categories. Keyword being immediately. It didn't take much twisting and turning. And in fact, they gave you the clues that you needed. You see what I mean by the questions where it's like, once you see the solution, like, oh, I had little pieces all along, right? But you just need to push on it until it gives way. And then it just pops out in your lap, okay? So you separated the... I separated this sequence, which is neither an AP nor a GP, out into two parts, both of which are, yeah, which I can then deal with with my formulas. And then above. Of course, yeah, absolutely. Like, I could take this guy and I could add it to this guy. There we go, thank you. Right? So the resulting series would be 4, 11, 31, uh, 89, dot, 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 dot. What's that? 
that's nothing, right? But if I break it apart, it's two very structured things that are easy to deal with. How would you figure that out? This one. Yeah. Well, you see, they didn't expect you to figure it out. That's why they gave you the nth term. Okay. Does that make sense? Um, they are making the question accessible, but it's still like, it doesn't just hand you the answer. You still have to like look at it a bit sideways. Okay. Okay.